To set up a roster for PaySource, follow these steps. On the top right hand corner, click on the Apps button here. And select Get More Apps. Choose the roster app and install it. To get back to the dashboard, click on Dashboard at the top left hand corner. And that will allow you to go back to the payroll. Click View Payroll and you're back into PaySource. So from now on, you can click on the Apps button on the top right hand side of your screen and just select rosters from there. That's it. You can click on the button at the top of the screen to select a new roster, or you can click on the button in the middle of the screen if it's the first time. We're going to enter in the name for the roster, and then we'll put in the start and end date for it. I've added that in, and now I'm going to choose the staff to go in the roster. I won't put all of them in, I'm going to select the staff. Choose these three. That's great. Now there's several ways to put your staff onto the roster. You can click the dots here and choose to add the roster days via a work pattern if you want. I'm going to use a custom work pattern for this employee. I'm going to put him in 12 days on, two off to fit my fortnightly cycle. I'll do a different cycle for Rebecca, but similar. Right, I've added Rebecca in. And now I'm going to check and see if any leave is to be taken on this month, which will interrupt the roster. So the calendar icon is here. I'm going to tick Approved Leave, and I can see that Rebecca does have a day off on the 17th. So what it's doing is showing me a red icon to say there's a warning here. What it's saying is, should we delete the roster day? And I'll click Yes. So now it's showing in a black box that Rebecca is on leave that day. If I want somebody to cover that day, all I need to do is drag John O'Bell over and down onto that day, like that. I can actually drag Jono onto any day I want, just to help out if I know it's going to be a busy day. So let's say I know that day is going to be a bit tough, and I'll make sure that he's covered for that day too. Right, you can go through all your months and add whoever you want into extra days. The next step is to share this with the staff. If I click on the share button, the details will appear in the employee's PaySource phone app under the roster. It will lock the roster and I'll just need to reopen it if I want to make changes. Any changes made will instantly update the employee's roster on their phone app. Now go to the printer icon to choose whether you want to print out a copy for each employee individually or print it for all employees to see all at once. We'll go with all employees and download the PDF. This can be printed out and put up in the tea room to show everybody. There's a key for the colours at the bottom of the printout. A green dot means the employee is rostered on. A grey one is rostered off. A black one is that leave is being taken for that employee on that day. And a grey panel means it's a public holiday, so you can easily see which staff are rostered on the public holidays. To get back to PaySource, click up on the dashboard at the top left hand side of your screen. Then select View Payroll. Because you've activated the roster, your employee will see the roster icon on their phone app now. When they select rosters, they'll see the next times that they've been rostered on. And if they click rosters at the top of the screen, they'll be able to select and see the month's roster details.